up, god damn it. <laughs> Why are you here? Why am I here? Well, let's see. You want the long answer or the short answer? Whichever answer you, you want to go. Because capitalism and white supremacy has to go. That's that's the short answer. You know, so explain it to people slowly so they can easily understand it. Okay, what's the long answer? The long answer? Okay, it's 500 years long. You really got time like that? Um, I got about a... I got... If you could talk, I'll tell you when I'm out of battery. When you're out of battery? <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. We'll start with the basic stuff. Okay. <laughs> Obama got up here. Well, first of all, a lot of people didn't. They were so, you know, running around on fire. Oh, look, the first black president. They didn't notice that on his website, he had his list of campaign donors. He had more campaign donors donating more money from the defense industry than John McCain, the Republican. Right away, I was like, nope, I'm voting for Cynthia McKinney. Absolutely fucking not. Nope. So that was the first thing. That was that's the first warning. Second warning was his reaction to Sean Bell being shot 51 times on his uh, on the night before his wedding. Oh well, we must remain calm and this and that. But but but. Nigga, shut up. Okay, and that was, that was number two for me. The next one was the, pl- the deployment of drone planes. The next thing was the uh, saying that American citizens can be executed without trial or due process of any kind. The next one is he promised to close Gitmo. He hasn't done so yet. In fact, he expanded it. And in addition, they went ahead and they built. They, uh, they built a little base underneath Mogadishu, you know, so you can go ahead and torture guys? people, you know. Uh, and meanwhile, you have Chinese and American companies still jumping old computers off the coast of Somalia and wondering why these people are no longer fishing. The fish are dead. That's why they fish off the tourists coming through on the boats. And that's why they call them pirates, okay, because they have no other way of getting a job. The actual government, Mogadishu, is what, three blocks radius, something like that? You know, that's what the Republicans want to do here, okay? The Democrats, they're so damn stupid. Stupid. Those guys, what they want to do, they want to go back to a mythological past certainly after World War II that never ever happened. They want to sit up here, well, yeah, the top, you know, top, you know, one percent was taxed at a 90, you know, 72 percent, you know, tax rate. Yeah, well, we still lived in segregation. Okay, we're taking ass whoopings for simply trying to spend money with white people. Okay, in addition to that, you know, uh, the, the a lot of veterans came back who did all these things for the United States during World War II, and were showing way more gratitude by Europeans and, and third world people than their own neighbors that they grew up next to when they come back to the United States. What's wrong with that picture? Okay, so, you know, you know, this mythological, let's go back, you know, the conservatives the same way. They want to go back to the days of slavery, basically, and try to tell you and I that that's somehow progressive. Okay, uh, these damn Democrats, they're the same way. You know, it's two parties of the same dictatorship. And what this movement represents, unlike the Tea Party, and unlike other ones, is that people want a better world. You know, yeah, a few people come up to you and go, you know what we need right now is some revolution and put put some people in jail, and let's really go there. Few will come at you like that. I'll come at you like that. But few people will come at you like that. But if you come at them like that, they'll nod and smile and bear witness as much as they understand. And that's what time it is. That's where we're at right now, you know. And, 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 you know, folks are starting to educate each other. They're going around and talking to people, shaking a hand, making a friend, you know. And one of the things I've noticed is that everybody here, everybody here is on a thing of, like, I want to know more. What are you into? I want to know more. What are you into? Into. I want to know more. Ooh, you know, you got the anarchists over here cooking a food not bombs. It's like, whoa, what that that tastes fantastic. You know, and a lot of people have heard all these terrible things about anarchists and they go over there and taste the food. And they're all messed up. You know. Or hear terrible things about all oh, these damn Marxists, all oh, these damn communists. Then they go to the General Assembly and they see how smoothly process runs because of the influence of these individuals who teach people how to organize amongst themselves as opposed to coming in, oh I'm gonna take it over for you because I think you're a moron. Ha! Huh? You know, no, that's not what people are doing. It's like, you know, that's a good tool, but check this out. Let's use it this way. Oh! See, that's what people do. That's what an organizer does, okay? He doesn't get up here and take over your, your, your situation. He comes in, she looks at your situation, and gives you suggestions and tools to where you can make it more victorious for yourself. You know, the poor, you know, the proletariat, the workers, whatever you want to call them, you know, the 99%, okay? Uh, the, you know, the 85%. Uh, you know, those who have nothing to lose but their chains, you know, all that, all that kind of good shit. And those of us who support those who have nothing to lose but their chains and feel an affinity for them. Okay? What did, what did Fred Hampton say? I am a revolutionary. Okay, um, what is this? What is what? This whole thing. Oh, this is Westlake, Westlake Park. Are you not from the town? Uh, I, I am, just doing an interview. Just oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is Westlake Park. Yep, this is Westlake Park. A lot of times you have, like, the you know, juggalo kids up in here, and then you got, like, the MCs from the town. Uh, Julie C. was out here a couple nights ago, uh, doing, getting it in, uh, and 
And, uh, you know, there's some other MCs. My dude, Cynthia, was down here, you know, because, you know, the 206 is a serious hip hop town. And I hope to see more MCs down here. I see my dude, Corvus, down here earlier, you know, but you MCs in the town, you know, you need to come down here and drop some spits for the crowd, you know, especially you cats that call yourself political, you know. I'm going to call you a bunch of frauds and fronts, and then I'm going to start bombing you on the camera. And we'll bomb you on my podcast, too, if you don't take your butt down here and at least drop one track for these people, you know. Don't let me start naming names because the next guy who films me, that's what's going to happen, okay? Revolution is, is, is not going to be televised. It's going to be made live by you and I. You got know what I mean? You know, and if you're not on that, then you're a reactionary. You need to go on the ground. Okay, what do you hope to get out of this? Freedom, justice, and equality in my lifetime. That's okay. what the agenda has always been since 1992. Okay, thank you very much.